Good morning folks. Today is Tuesday morning, the 30th of June. Hard to believe we're at the end of June already. I'm going to come together and read this morning a, a short psalm, but an important one. That's Psalm 13. Let's hear what it says there. O Lord, how long will you forget me? Forever? How long will you look the other way? How long must I struggle with anguish in my soul? with sorrow in my heart every day. How long will my enemy have the upper hand? Turn and answer me, O Lord my God. Restore the sparkle to my eyes or I will die. Don't let my enemies gloat, saying we have defeated him. Don't let them rejoice at my downfall. But I trust in your unfailing love. I will rejoice because you have rescued me. I will sing to the Lord, because he is good to me. Amen. Who's that person who you have, who you talk to? Who's that person who you tell everything to, you pour your heart out to? Who's that person who will always listen to you? Who doesn't jump in, but who lets you speak? Who's that person even by saying nothing? By the time you've finished talking, you feel an awful lot better. You know that sort of person? That's the sort of sense that you get from this psalm. As David offloads himself to God, as he pours out his heart. There's not an immediate answer. There's nothing comes back straight away. As David's saying, oh Lord, you've said this or you've said that. But David just tells God exactly how he's feeling. And God listens. Look at the last verse, last two verses. But I trust in your unfailing love. As David offloads himself, and he seems to be criticising God. But as he does that, look at how his attitude changes, how his way of thinking changes. At the start, um, you get the phrase, how long, four times in the first two verses. And it's that sense of impatience wonder how impatient we are with God. I wonder how um, how often we say, God, I, I, God, do this now. And we try to impress our time frame upon God. It'll not happen. It's as simple as that. God has the plan. And he knows when things will happen or not happen. He knows how things will happen or not happen. We just need to trust. And that's what David comes to at the end. But I will trust in your unfailing love. I will rejoice because you have rescued me. I will sing to the Lord because he is good to me. The unfailing love. That's God. God's love doesn't bend and, and blow and, and come and ebb and flow with, with his whims. God's not like that. God's not like us. God loves us with unfailing love. He rescues us. He is good. You know, things are difficult at this time for lots of people. I don't know if you've seen the news. And you've seen Leicester having to lock down again because of COVID. And people said, how long will this go on? How long will things happen? And we do that in so many things of our life. How long, Lord, will I suffer? How long, Lord, will this happen to me? Where are you, God? God is always there. It's us who needs to open our eyes. We're the ones who need to trust in his unfailing love. Because he is always, always with us. I trust and pray that today you have that freedom with God. To be able to tell him exactly what's on your heart. But then at the end of doing that. To be able to see his unfailing love. To be able to know that he is with you. And that he has you. Let's pray. Father. Again thank you for this day. Thank you that we can do this. That we can meet together in this way. That we can give thanks to you. That we can think about your word. 
Lord, help us to have that freedom to pour our hearts out to you. But then, Lord, help us to stop, to reflect, and to see your love for us, and to realise that you are always with us, and to come to the same conclusion as David, that you do love us, that you are good, that we simply need to trust you. Lord, remember, whatever we get up to today, whatever we face today, whatever our circumstances, help us to see that. Lord, thank you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining with me this morning. Like I say, it's just a short psalm, but a psalm that is really important. Let's just take it to heart. God bless. See you again tomorrow.